Hey YouTube, my name is Eve the Weave. Please like, share, and subscribe. Yes, honey. I'm outside filming today for y'all in the backyard. But, um, well, in the front yard because the backyard is occupied by the kids and the pool and all that. So I came in the front yard to talk about, I wanted to talk about Kwame Brown. I wanted to talk about him being on Tasha K. I want to talk a little bit about Charlemagne. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit Wiley and Amon in the same video. I don't even know if I want to fit them in the same video. Matter of fact, I'm not. I'm going to leave those two topics separate. Kwame needs his own goddamn whole video by himself. Now, I wanted to talk about the live that he just did. He said that he was going to be on Tasha K tonight. I think that show is supposed to come on at 8 o'clock. I guess my time because I'm in New York City. So I guess my time. So I figure I'd come out here right now and talk about that real quick while I'm waiting to go back home because I'm out of town. I'm not even in New York. But, yeah, so let's talk about the whole situation with the whole get along. Like, everybody's sitting up there saying that Kwame is talking too much. There's a lot of trolls out there, Kwame. Let me tell you something about trolls. There's a lot of trolls out there, so they're going to say what they want to say. But I do want to get into the um, text messages that he was talking about with... Um, Tommy, let's go get into those right now because those text messages, nigga, you crying like a little bitch. All right, hold that in front of the screen up a little bit. So, this is when Tommy reached out to me. I'm gonna say your name. He reached out to me on the 27th. I laughed. I said, just let me know. You see the tape? Let me eat real fast. We could have got on right after I ate real fast. That's me. That's him. Let me eat real fast. That is at seven. Let me slide it to the side. At this point, he's showing the time and everything. If you want to watch his YouTube, you can go to Kwame Brown Bus Life. He's there. If you want to see the text messages. Let me see. But it was a lot. Okay. It, go, it got to go on this way okay so hold it like that so that's let me let, laugh my ass off let me eat real fast okay other way okay so that's that's 7 30 i don't even know if they can see that but that's 7 something a.m in the morning see if you can slide it to the side that's like 7 30 a.m if y'all can see that 7 15 okay let's go up so now he texted me back at 5, 527. I said, okay, bet. And he said, let's try. That's not me. I didn't say let's try anything. My words were, okay, bet. And I don't see let's try being a scheduled date, a time, and somebody's word where integrity is on it. Okay. So then he goes, all right, what's a good time? I didn't see that. So then, like I was texting before, my bad, I was on with Ticket TV. You still up? He didn't text me back right away. Mind you, there's minutes away. So I guess he's mad. He gets to get mad that I get on with Ticket TV, which I don't owe you why I'm on with Ticket TV, but okay, he gets on live. So this is the thing with Tommy. He was so thirsty. He wanted Kwame to be on his show, I guess, first. But he went on Ticket TV. So Tommy says, he goes live. I guess while Kwame is on live, I'm going to let him explain it a little bit more, but I'm trying to break it down for y'all. He he went, Tommy went live and was like, oh yeah, because he's on there and they talked about him and X, Y, and Z. But see, this is what I like about Kwame. He's able to give you the receipt. He's able to tell you why he went up there. Yeah, they talked about him, but he don't give a fuck, Tommy. Let him do what he got to do. He don't work for nobody. He's a YouTuber just like everybody else that's on YouTube. So why he can't go do that interview real quick, eat, and then get on live with you? I don't understand what the fucking problem was. But let's keep going. I haven't say, who the fuck do he think he is? Get it going with Ticket TV, a nigga that called him a bus. Now, I've said many times before, I never got mad at people calling me a bus. I don't get mad at people calling me Kwame Brown because they've been hearing this from this Stephen A guy for years. So why would I just go around being mad? So I'm the only one being consistent with my story. I know that Ticket TV said that. 
I never said anything to him about it. Why are you so mad? Why are you bringing it up? <laughs> I said, I don't give a damn. I said it was that extra disrespect. But see, you never watched any of the videos because you mad about money, bitch. Let's go up. So my text was still consistent. I never had a date. Just got off. We can cook. He sends question marks like 10 minutes. See if you can slide it right there from that position right there. <laughs> Sliding it up. We need to go over. I got that lotion right there. Yeah, see if they can see that time. Oh. Here's what I got a problem with. That was too much. For all of that, you could have called him, Tommy. But he already said, let me eat and then we can cook. That should have been the end of the conversation right there. Or oh, what's or the next question from Tommy should have been, oh, so what time you think you'll be ready? That should have been the next question. But no, Tommy with his big ass sometimes, yeah. Okay, there you go. So he texts me back at one. I, I text him one twenty six. He texts me back at one fifty four. I'm not sitting by the phone waiting on nobody. Then when I said he texts me breakup texts, he had gaps in between every time he texts me until he got upset. Four hours later, you got gaps in between each text when you was trying to do something. But when you get mad, not a minute go by. 626, 627, 628. So that looked like a motherfucking breakup text. You even said this hurt. And if y'all go to his live, he's not lying. Like, the text is in a row. Like, bing, 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 bing. Like, Nick, like that should have been your next text. What time do you need, being that you eating right now? What time do you need so we can go on live? But... You got so in your bitch assness, Tommy, as I call it. Yeah, because it's a lot of bitch assness on YouTube. And we're going to address that shit because, you know, I don't hold my tongue for nobody. In the dark room, underneath the sky, in the natural light, I don't really give a fuck. But my thing is, though, all you had to do was ask that brother, what time do you think you'll be ready? Boom, and we can just start from there. I don't understand why you had to go live and go through all that. You know why? Because that's what you wanted to do from the motherfucking beginning. That's what you really wanted to do from the beginning. So for all of that, you should have just did that like everybody else is fucking doing with your bitch ass. You didn't have to go through all of that text messaging and then going to get on live and then talking shit and all that. That, that didn't make no sense. But let him keep talking because this shit getting good. Hurts and all kind of emotional shit. So, I just want to know where's all this coming at somebody where you can talk about their dead mama over you saying let's try to cook. I mean, let's try to go on live later when I was ready to go on live right after I ate. I gave him the utmost respect. I said, let me eat real quick and we can go on live. Got no reason to go on live with him. This nigga got my number hitting me back from his vacation. And I'm like, yo, what it up? Even though I don't respect no other man calling me about no other nigga, I allowed this nigga to call me about KS and talk about why this and why that, questioning me like this nigga over me or something. And even then, I kept it playing. I'm like, listen, man, it's all good. The next time it's a problem or a misunderstanding, this is supposed to be a grown man. Now, this is how I'm talking to him. I said, the next time it's a problem or a misunderstanding, make sure you talk to me first. My exact words, make sure you talk to me first. I said, I don't do all that. I be busy. I move around. I don't like nobody over me. I don't do all that. So if you got a Traffic. misunderstanding, call my phone. So he would have never had to went live if you so-called my friend, because all you had to do was even if you thought what you was thinking, just reach out to me and call my phone first. So it was purposely done. So all this shit he's saying about integrity and all this and all these people on his live listening to this corny ass nigga when all he do is lie. You know? Exactly. Oh, he, like I don't get what's going on on YouTube. And when did we start talking about that people's mothers, this like deceased people? Like what the fuck is going on though? Like y'all such clout chasers. You didn't even, you instead of waiting or calling that man, that man who's running his own thing over there, just like you doing, Tommy, instead of just 